everyone! Today I'm really excited because I'm sharing the new Urban Decay vault and the vault this time is going to be their um, brush vault. It's their pro brushes. Um, I got it in the mail on Friday. Today's Sunday and I needed to film it for you guys today. I know I haven't made a video in a while. There's been so many changes in my life. I'm actually currently at my parents house this weekend. Um, so this is the new background. Um, and maybe the new background for probably a month or so. Um, <laughs> back to my original thing. Um, the whole reason I'm making this video is because Urban Decay released, I think it was on Tuesday, um, an Urban Decay Pro Brush Vault. And um, I was so excited. I was super excited. I knew a while ago they had released uh, a Pro Brush line, but... I mean, they were pretty expensive, and I was just like, do I really need them? I don't really need them, blah, blah, blah. And second of all, I didn't really know that Urban Decay made brushes. Um, I don't know if you guys knew that, but I I was not aware of it. Um, but I, I did know that they came out with the Pro Brush line, and they're not sold in stores, so it's not like you could test them out unless you have a freestanding Urban Decay near you. But um, I don't, so... Anyway, so I didn't even know they really made brushes, and they made the Pro Brush, and then they came out with this Pro Brush Vault. And it included all of the brushes that are in the Pro line, all 29 of them, um, and it was priced at $375. So, yeah, that's a pretty steep price for brushes, but when you add them all up, and after the end of this video, um, I think you'd understand that... 375 isn't that bad of a price in the end. Um, <laughs> um, at first it's like, holy moly, that's so much money, but honestly it's really not. And if you were to buy these brushes individually, and I'm going to name each price of these brushes individually, you'd be like, holy crap, that's, that's a lot of money. Um, so anyway, so basically this video is going to be my first impressions, because I have not used these brushes. Um, and it's also going to be a price point. I'm going to um, name, say the prices of each of these brushes. I'm going to show you the brushes individually and just tell you about the brushes. So first I kind of wanted to give you my first impressions of the brush, um, these brushes. And they are absolutely amazing. Like, um, hello, Urban Decay, why don't you get your brushes in Ulta or Sephora or something? Like, I, I feel like people would buy these if you put those in them in the stores. I absolutely love them. They are so soft. The handles are really, really good quality. I like that they include the name of the brush. Like, one of the brushes is called a large tapered brush. And it's actually on the brush. <laughs> like, why don't more companies do that? It's good. I mean, you would, I guess you would know by looking at the brush. But it's also good to know the actual name of the brush as well that is on the handle. Like, I know MAC, what they do is they just put the number of the brush. But they don't actually put what it does. So like my first impressions, I absolutely love them. They are phenomenal. I really, really like them. I have not actually used them or put them to the test, but when I do, I plan on doing a, like a favorites brush, Urban Decay Pro brushes video at a later point once I get to use all of these brushes. Um, so next is the the packaging. So basically it comes in a box like this. Um, I have two other Urban Decay vaults that came out in 2015. That was their eyeshadow brush and their 24-7 eyeliner brush. Um, I have a video of the eyeshadow with his swatches um, in another video and I will link that in the description bar below. But um, so anyway, all of their vaults seem to come in this type of package leave that goes over the packaging. So this is what the packaging looks like right here. And what I really like about this is that on the back, it includes all of the brushes that are in the set. And that's what it looks like right there. And the name of it is UD Brush Vault. That's right on the bottom there. Um, it's their like signature colors, the purples, the black. You pop this off like so is this packaging right here on the front it says UD brush UD pro brush vault which looks like that right there and then it's a magnetic closure enclosure and so when you open it it looks like this so basically this is really really nice packaging that you could just put on your vanity which compared to the other vaults they're 
huge. And like I said, if you see my eyeshadow ball, it's like, it's like this big. Like, where am I putting that? Like, I don't even know where to put it. Um, I mean, of course, I had it on display. I had both of them on display in my apartment. So it was, like, nice. But in reality, like, are you going to keep dusting that? Like, what are you, what are you going to do? So I really do like the packaging on this a lot better than the other vaults because this is practical. It's smaller, and it's actually usable. I could take this when I'm traveling if I wanted to. Because all it is is magnetic closure, and there's all of your brushes. So love that. To mention that the brushes are actually held by a foam insert. So they each have like a place of their own. So this is a brush and then you could just slide it back into where it belongs right here. So just like that. So I absolutely love, love the packaging of this file. I think it's great. I absolutely love it. Um, this is one brush and I wanted to mention that these are all recycled materials. It's all cruelty free made. Um, everything on this brush is made from recycled materials, which is so awesome. Like how many companies can say that? So this stainless steel look right here of the brush is actually um, made out of recycled. Hold on. The gunmetal handles that are on these brushes, um, which is right here, are made from recycled aluminum. How cool is that? <laughs> like how cool is that? And look at how awesome it looks. Um, it has the Urban Decay name on the front right there. And then, like I said, on the back, it has the name of the brush. And this brush is a large powder brush. So, yeah. Um, and then it has a little bit of a black handle. And then, of course, your brush, which is so soft. So, so soft. Um, anyway, so the hair is synthetic hair. And it's made from recycled plastic bottles. <gasps> Can you believe that? Recycled plastic bottles. That's what the hair is made out of. How cool is that? Um, not to mention synthetic hair doesn't hold bacteria like um, animal hair would so it's actually more hygienic and you're, you're not gonna get breakouts like crazy like I am acne prone I have acne prone skin actually my skin's been pretty good lately knock on wood somewhere um, but yeah uh, so yeah the hair is made from synthetic and it's made from plastic bottles can't believe that that's crazy so Love and it's it's good. It's not like it's super heavy, but it's also it feels durable. Not to mention, this is amazing. This is so soft. Like I can't I can't believe it. So so soft. So that's a little bit about the the brush, the brushes that come in this set. Show you each brush individually. I'm actually gonna do like a close up of the brush and then also. I am going to name the brush and how much the brush actually cost and at the end we're going to do like a little price um, comparison to see how much it um, breaks down to per brush for $375. Um, as of today, today is Sunday, this brush set is sold out. But I figured it would be a good video in case you wanted to buy any of these brushes individually. So that's why I'm making it. I'm not making it to brag that I got the vault. Um, I'm specifically just letting you guys know about the Urban Decay brushes and their cost price point. And also maybe you'd be interested in buying one of these brushes. It's going to be the F102. This is a large powder brush. Um, it is huge, absolutely huge, crazy huge. Um, and this one retails for $49 brush is the large tapered foundation brush and this is F101 and I absolutely love the dome shape of this brush um, and it's really densely compact which I really really like that um, so I'm really curious to see how this applies foundation because I've never seen a brush like this before it's really really unique um, this large tapered foundation brush retails for $59 this brush is a large tapered powder brush and this is F 103. Um, this one retails for $45. This is also a dome shape, shape brush, but it's not as densely compact. It is more flexible, in my opinion. This, I think, would be great for underneath your eyes when you're setting your concealer and you just want to brush away that powder. Um, I just think that would work perfectly for that. It obviously has other uses, but that's what I'm going to use it for. Like we have Mr. Sweetie joining us. 
Um, the next brush is going to be the Optical Blurring Brush, F105. Um, this one retails for $32. This one is more densely compact. The next brush is a contour definition brush. This is F109, $32. And I really, really like the shape of this and I cannot wait to use this with a powder um, contour because it seriously, I like how the brush is shaped. It's like shaped like any contour brush, but it just, it's slimmer. It's not like that huge, huge brush um, so it's going to fit perfectly in between where I need to contour it is called the finishing powder brush in F104 and this one retails for $39 the next brush is the flat optical blurring this one is F108 and um, it, this is a foundation brush as well um, I was reading some of the reviews on this brush and someone uses this for their foundation and then they said that they no longer use their beauty blender. So I'm kind of curious to see how this is going to work out, but we'll, we'll see how it works. The next brush, which I think is super interesting, is called The Finger. This one retails for $26. Um, it's F110. And the shape of this brush is so interesting and it's actually very, very densely packed. I was reading the reviews on this because I wasn't really sure. I keep, like, I would imagine that you would use this as, like, your, your eyeshadow crease. Next brush is called the Diffusing Blush Brush, F107. This one retails for $32 as well. And it's similar to shape, um shape of the contour brush so it's perfect for like the apples of your cheeks <laughs> you know contour you go like this with the brush and brush you go like this with the brush so um yeah i'm excited to try this one out this one's really soft it's not as densely compact as the other ones um so this is going to be perfect for blush the next brush is the large blending eyeshadow brush this is an e202 um and this is for blending your eyeshadow um, in your crease or I just really really enjoy how big of a brush this is I have never seen um, an eyeshadow brush I do not own any eyeshadow brush that the the bristles are this big so I'm, I'm actually interested to try that I actually have really small eyes so I don't know how this is going to work for me but we'll see how this works the next brush is a diffusing highlighter brush in F106 and this one retails for $32 and I also just noticed here, the, there's sometimes an E or an F in front of it. So the F I'm assuming is for face and the I, E is considered for eye. So if I say F106, it's for face. And if I say E something, it's for the eyes. So I didn't know that. That's actually pretty cool. I like that. Um, so this is a diffusing highlighter. Um, excited to try this out. I'm really excited to. I should have tried this with my um, highlighter today, but I honestly didn't want to use these because I didn't want to get them dirty before I made this video. So, um, the next brush is called a large eyeshadow brush, an E203. The large eyeshadow brush retails for $26. Um, the bristles on this are really, really long, but are more densely compact and much thinner than... Um, this looks like a concealer brush to me, but I'm interested to try it out. Next brush um, is in Smoky Crease. This is an E201, and this one retails for $26. I love, love brushes like this. I love blending um, brushes that are a lot bigger. Some, like, I don't know, I have this Hello Kitty eye, eye blending brush that I absolutely love and I use it for everything and it's exactly shaped like this and I have not found any brushes that are similar to that. Like, I just feel like I could blend better with those types of brushes. So, I'm excited to try this one out. So this. The next brush is in medium eyeshadow. This one is, retails for $24 and this one's in E207. Um, this one looks perfect for like picking up eyeshadow and like patting it on. Um, I, I really, really am excited to try this brush. The next brush is in eyeshadow contour um, E211 and this one retails for $22. Um, I really, really like this brush. Um, it's dome shaped like the finger brush but or this is longer in height and then smaller in width 
compared to the finger brush so I'm excited to try this I feel like this I know it's supposed to be for contouring but I feel like this would make a good smudger brush for like you know how I have my eyeshadow underneath my eye um, I feel like this would be perfect for that like just smudging it out uh, this brush is in domed concealer um, and F112 this is a face brush and it retails for $26 I like, I really, really, really like this brush because when I'm applying concealer underneath my eyes, I use my beauty blender, but I feel like in between my nose area right here, that would work really, really good there. So I'm excited to try that. This brush is in Tapered Blending E209. This is an eyeshadow brush, and this one retails for $24. And the shape of this brush is actually more um, pointed. So this, this should be um, really nice. This is also similar to my... Um, Sephora brush that I have that I really really like so excited to try that brush is an iconic eyeshadow E205 and it, this one retails for $24 I tried looking up reviews on this because I'm not really sure like it's called iconic so I was wondering if maybe it was known for something or something like that but I, I honestly couldn't find anything on it so so that's that one Next brush is in um, a flat eyeshadow brush, and this one is E206. This one retails for $24, and I'm, ex I'm really excited to try this one out. Um, I like the bristles on this one a lot. I think it would be perfect for placing eyeshadow exactly where you want it because it has a smaller um, bristle set, so I really like that. The next brush is a face brush, and this is in a detail. It's called Detailed Concealer F111. And this retails for $22. And honestly, when I get those stubborn breakouts that I'm trying to cover up, um, this is going to be absolutely perfect. Um, I ha I ha I've never seen any kind of brush like this before. I like how small it is. It's going to be perfect. I kind of have a little bit of a breakout here, but it's kind of going away. Um, if I have a breakout, I'm, I'm really curious to see. I hope I don't get another breakout. But if I do get another breakout... Um, curious to see how this is going to work um, with my concealer. Even color correcting, I was thinking that this would be good for. So, this one is called Angled Eyeliner in E214. This is, um, this one retails for $22. <laughs> the next one is a lip brush, and this one's called Angled Lip, and it's in L301, um, L for lips. And this one retails for $22. And this next brush, guys, I have not used it yet. I have high hopes for it, and I cannot wait to use it. Is, do you guys know that Urban Decay has moon dust eyeshadows? And um, I absolutely love them, but I have no proper brush to use them with, so I'm using my finger to apply them with. In the previous vault that I received, uh, they had some of their moon dust shadows in it as well, and it, they're just kind of messy to work with if you've ever used them before, because they're like pretty much filled with glitter. So it's you want that glitter to stay on your eyelid. So um, I was using my finger to do that, but I, it would be better if I could apply it with a brush that's wet. And um, I just didn't have any brushes that worked well with it that I've tried. Um, so Urban Decay. I had no idea they had this, has a moon dust eyeshadow brush. Uh, hello? Where, where has this been my whole life? Where has this been the last year that I needed it? <laughs> um, so this one is called Moon Dust, uh, literally called Moon Dust Brush, um, in E210. This one retails for $24. The next brush that I'm also excited for is called the Smoky Smudger in E20, E208. Um, and this one retails for $24. I really like the brush on this. It's really small and compact. And I think this would work perfectly when you're trying to smudge out your eyeshadow in your crease. So next brush is called Tightline E213. And this one retails for $22. And it's exactly like it says. And I really like the shape of this. Um, also, because this is going to be perfect to get in underneath your eye when you're trying to tightline. Um, so excited to try this out. I didn't even know they made tight line brushes honestly before I thought people just use like an eyeliner brush, but um, That's what I've used before so It's called precise eyeliner in E213 um, This one retails for $18 and this is the only The only brush that the gunmetal doesn't actually go all the way down if you noticed um, on this brush So I'm not really sure why they did that fear that this um 
writing on the brush is actually going to um, rub off once you use it quite a bit because I know the MAC brushes do that definitely. The next brush um, is called Angled Brow Brush in E215 and this one retails for $20. So, um, so the next brush is a Detailed Smudger in E212. <coughs> This one retails for $22, and this, this is dome is really, really small. Like, it's super small, but it's also dense at the same time. So this brush might actually work better for what I was saying before, to smudge out your eyeshadow underneath your eye there. So this, this might work out really well. Or if you want to smudge out your eyeliner, you know how if you have, like, a, the black, if you have the 24-7 eyeliners and you just kind of want to smudge it out, you don't want that defined line. So yeah, I think that one, this would work really well for that. Essential Eye Tool Brush, it's an E217, and um, this one retails for $15. This is actually the cheapest brush out of all of the brushes, so that's a really good deal, <laughs> I guess. Um, um, yeah, I'm really excited to try out this brush set, really, really excited. Okay, so now I'm going to talk a little bit about the price point. So, as you guys know, I was reading off the prices to you, and you're probably like, $49 for a brush, $59 for a brush, that's way more than $375, and you're right. Um, this whole thing, if you were to buy this on your own, each individual brush, retails for $811. I'm just, just take a moment and take that in. If you wanted every single brush that I mentioned here today, it's $811. Like, that's insane. And I got it for three hundred and seventy-five dollars. We're planning on buying this set um, if it, they do release it or they do come out for it for the holidays, which would be super awesome if they did. Um, I hope they do because I hope you guys can get your hands on this or get your hands on some of these brushes. But three hundred and seventy-five dollars divided by the twenty-nine brushes in this set come out to twelve dollars and ninety-three cents per brush, or thirteen dollars per brush. And that's less than the lowest cost of the brush, which I just mentioned before, which was the Essential Eye Tool Kit, Eye Tool Set, and that was $15. So less than that brush. So this set, honestly, is a really, really good deal. If they come out with again, like I said, I think you guys should grab it. If, if Especially if you're a pro makeup artist. I am not a pro makeup artist. I'm just an enthusiast. <laughs> a huge one. I'm just addicted to it. Um, so yeah. So love, love this set. I think it's such a great value for how much they are individually. Um, so yeah, really, really good set. I'm really excited for this. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, and I will see you guys in my next video. And I hope it's sooner rather than later. Um, just like I said, I, there's just a lot going on in my life right now. And um, a lot for the good. Um, but yeah, just a lot going on in my life. So. So that's the Urban Decay Pro Brush Vault Set, and I hope you guys enjoy this video. And if you're not subscribed to my channel and you like this video, um, plan to do more videos like this in the future. And like I said, I, I kind of want to do a video um, of all my favorite brushes out of this set, um, and maybe brushes that you may not need um, from this set because um, I have not used them yet, but I want to give you guys my first impressions. Um, because these aren't sold in stores and it would be great if they did sell them in stores because these are great quality brushes and um, I think I think people I think there's a market for them um, Urban Decay I think you should get your brushes in Ulta or Sephora I don't know if you guys have them in your freestanding stores but I feel like people would buy these brushes because they're such good quality to my video if you want to watch more of my videos keep tuned and I hope you guys hit that subscribe button it's free and if you like this video please give me a thumbs up I would greatly appreciate it uh, I will see you guys in my next video bye love you guys